Are you happy knowing that your OS watches and records everything that you do? The latest updates from Microsoft put AI into every nook and cranny of Windows 11, meaning there's a digital big brother watching everything you do on your PC. Credit cards, bank details, usernames, passwords, website information, all of this is being actively recorded onto the servers of Microsoft. And even if you think that Microsoft is gonna be ethical with this information, what if they get hacked? You don't need to be smart to realize that this is a huge security threat that actively invades on personal privacy. Even though Linux is safer and widely available, many aren't willing to jump ship. In this video, we are gonna debloat Windows 11, make it lighter, more private, and much more secure. And this won't break it, no. It'll make it perform much better. To do this, we'll be using a little tool called Win 11 Debloat, and we'll disable things like OneDrive, unnecessary background services, and stop all of the forced Windows updates so they can't turn on all that AI garbage again. When you get a new computer, you might hear people shout, reinstall Windows from scratch. Well, here's the problem. Any standard reinstall of Windows 11 will immediately update it to the latest build, and that'll install all of the services we want to avoid. And while this guide may work with the newest version now, we have no idea when Microsoft or the guys at Debloat just give up. So if your system is free from malware, Debloating an existing install is often the smarter move. So let's get to it. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble. For this video, we'll be using a freshly unboxed GMK Tech M8 mini PC. This here comes with Windows 11 Pro, but before we go online, let's check it for viruses. In the bottom search bar, search for Defender, then click Windows Security. Once this is up, click for Virus and Threat Protection, and then Scan Options. In here, click Full Scan, and then Scan Now. If anything's found, it'll let you know. But if Defender doesn't start, there's a good chance you're actually infected with something. And this is where you should freshly install Windows. As it'll take a few minutes, now's a good time to check out our power options. At the bottom, search Power, and then click Edit Power Plan. In here, we can adjust when Windows turns off the display or puts the computer to sleep. And five minutes is ridiculous, so let's raise that. I'm going to use one and three hours. Then close the window and wait for the scan to finish. As you can see, nothing was found here, which is great. And if you want it to be more thorough, you can use the offside scan at the bottom. It's the same process, just click the bubble and then scan now. Whack yes, and then wait. Before we go online, we need to check something else. Go down to the bottom of your screen and then search updates. A few options should appear. We're gonna click pause updates. In the next screen, we can temporarily pause windows from updating. So click this down chevron, and then pause for five weeks. Note that this here is only a temporary solution, and we'll make it permanent later in the video. So now that updates are paused, we can go online. You can use your Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but I'm gonna connect two monkey balls. Now that we're connected, we're gonna load up Microsoft Edge. Select you don't wanna share your data, uncheck this box, confirm, and here we can see how much of a predator Microsoft actually are. Just keep on checking, confirm, and finally, a browser, or almost. At the top, click the address bar, and then type in newnight.com. This is a great website where you can very easily install multiple applications, all for free. Just check the boxes, and off we go. But before we go crazy with this website, we want to install only the basics. Maybe a better internet browser, like Firefox or Brave, and Malwarebytes, which is incredible at finding malware. You can, of course, use any others you wish, but we find Malwarebytes to not intrude as much as the other free alternatives. Once you're done here, click on Get Your Ninite, wait a few seconds, and it should download the install file. At the top here, press Open File, and you can sit back and relax. After pressing Yes. And if you want to see what it's doing, press and Show Details. When it says OK, press the Close button, and now all the applications should be installed. Look, they're on the desktop. Now double click on this M. We're going to run a scan using Malwarebytes, as this is more thorough than Windows Defender. So click Get Started, maybe later, then continue with the free trial. Once it's been activated, press Got It. Then we could register our email here. But what we're going to do is press Skip, and then in the scanner window, press them three dots. In here, Advanced Scan, and then Deep Scan. This will take another few minutes to complete, and if it finds nothing here, you should be okay. But if you super duper wanted to make sure, you need to check the custom scan. In here, click all the options, and then the box next to C, and then start custom scan. The problem here is that not many people are willing to wait 14 hours for a full check. 
Now that all that's done, let's check Windows activation. At the bottom, search for settings, then click it. The submenu in the newer versions are these three lines. Check system, and go down to the bottom to the about page. In here, you got system information, and at the bottom of that, I want you to click product key in activation. Now here, on a new computer, it should say active, but if you reinstall Windows without first logging into a Microsoft account, it might not activate, and you'll have to get in touch with your computer's customer support. So to not lose this activation, we need to link it to our Microsoft account. Back to the settings screen, I want you to click on sign in. And then on the next screen, type in your email address. If you don't have an account, you may need to create one, and this is quite self-explanatory. Unfortunately, this will activate OneDrive, which we will sort out in a moment, but it's nice to know now that we can easily reinstall Windows on this computer without pulling out a nose hair. So, let's completely stop the updates. Links are down below, and this one is Stop Updates 10. Click the Download Zip button, and then wait a few seconds. MajorGeeks.com is a very reputable source, and we also recommend to subscribe to our channel too. And, th and there's, yeah. Once the file is downloaded, we should be able to see it at the top right, and then press on the Folder button. Now right click on this file, and then Extract All. Leave all this at default, and then press Extract. And now double click on the Setup file. Click Yes. You can select language or press OK. Click Next. Accept the agreement. Next again. And on this screen we can see what the tool does. Mainly, stopping the Windows updates. If you're happy with this, press Next. And Next again. And Next again. N install. And finish. Um, we can uncheck that. Stop updates will automatically load up and then update itself. The soft block is the temporary measure we did earlier, so this is only going to last about five weeks. But to completely halt the updates, push stop Windows updates at the top of the screen. And believe it or not, that's it. Easy peasy. So now let's move on to debloating Windows. There are a few ways to do this, but we'll be using Win11 Debloat by Raphire. It's situated on GitHub, and the link's down below if you want to check out any of the documentation. But put simply, it removes Copilot, Recall, and a ton of stuff that only exists to either slow down your system, or to spy on you. And the best bit, this is really easy to use. Simply select this, right click, then copy. We've put this in the video description down below if you're scared of GitHub, or you can click this button here. Now go to the bottom and type in PowerShell, and once it shows up, you need to run it as administrator. You can either click the button on the right, or you could right click PowerShell and then run it. Yes. Once you have this screen, just right click, then enter. And what this will do is download all the required information from GitHub. Shouldn't take too long, about 15 seconds or so. Then we're given a menu. For most people, the default set should suffice. But if you want to customize what changes are done, we can select the second option for custom mode. If you wanted to remove an app like Disney Plus or whatever, we've got a third option, but we'll choose the recommended changes. So tap one and then enter. Now this screen asks us which apps to remove, either non, default, or custom. And we'll just hit one for the default selection. The next screen tells you what the script will do. For example, remove things like ClipChamp and Candy Crush Saga, which you can reinstall if you use the Microsoft Store. But more importantly, it states it'll disable Windows Recall, AI junk like Copilot, ads, telemetry, and more. So if you're happy with what it's gonna do, press enter. It'll then create a system restore point if you wanna roll back, and then it'll debloat Windows. Lovely. Once it's finished, press any key, close this window, and then restart your computer. Once it's back on again, click at the bottom, type in power, and then run PowerShell as administrator. And then we'll type in this command to check if recall is in fact disabled or not. And we check the state, disabled with payload removed. Nice. At this point, I usually install drivers. As this is an AMD system, we'll need to install either from scratch or update through the Adrenaline software. So I'm just gonna hit quick setup, default, then start gaming. If you check out the top right, it states which we have installed and what version we can update to. So click on manage updates, yes. And the next screen tells us what we can update. We can either select each one individually, or just press update all, and yeah, press that. It'll do what it needs to, and then you'll have to restart. Now that the system drivers are sorted, we can add a load of software. So go back to ninite.com and just check anything you want. We recommend AIMP for audio, VLC for video, 
Open Shell if you want a Windows 7 start menu. For the games launcher, Steam and Epic. For 2D artwork, Krita. And then of course, Notepad++ because it's pretty good. To set up Open Shell, just right click on your start button, and we can change it to how Windows used to be. There are plenty of options to mess with, but for the time being, we're just gonna hit OK. And why is it in the middle? We're gonna move that. Right click, taskbar settings, and move this down. In other system tray icons, we can select what we see at the bottom right. Oh, OneDrive, forgot about that. We'll sort that out in a second. For now, just go down to taskbar behaviors. And changing this from center to left, we can move the start button where it should be. Oh yeah. Of course, if you want the more modern look, you can uninstall OpenShell. It'll still be on the left side. But now, let's sort out OneDrive. At the bottom of the screen, press the folder button. And then on the left, your username, dash personal. Once here, go to the top where it says OneDrive and click it. And then the cog. Follow this up by clicking unlink this PC. And then once you pressed on unlink account, OneDrive is finished. <laughs> so now we have control of our own computer again, we can play with it as we wish. And before we get to the last chapter of the video, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. If you too want to help us out monetarily, please consider joining up. And if you haven't smashed that like or subscribe button, please do so now. Let's get hard. It's quite obvious now that the further we let Microsoft update Windows, the worse things become. Not only are they mining more and more data from its users, they're actively blocking features that are vital for the freedom of humankind. If the debloat process did not work, you may need to reinstall an older version of Windows. ISOs are still available online, and for this mini PC we have here, we can download it from the GNK Tech website. We can also find various images on archive.org. I just ran a search for Windows 11 24H2, and we found an English ISO that supports multiple versions. We can use Rufus to put this image onto a USB stick, and then install it onto our computer's hard drive. Or alternatively, we could install something like Cache OS Linux. Seriously, it really whips the llama's ass. If you want to find more information regarding OS security, we recommend checking out Rob Braxman Tech on YouTube. He's got some great deep dive videos that should wet your whistle. If you found this video useful, please hit the like, hype, and even share, because this is probably the most important video we've ever uploaded. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra! Now get in my car.